Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for not being here for such a long time, but I'm finally here with my new video about my routine of making prints. So if you are interested, stay with me. The majority of the summer I have spent figuring out how to use my printer, editing and upgrading printing files with my paintings and illustrations. And in this video I want to share some behind the scene of creating homemade prints and I hope it will be useful for you. Yes, I buff a printer this year and make art prints by myself now. And this is so exciting to me. Well, why I wanted to switch over from using print shop services and begin to make prints by myself? First, and the most important, everything is under my control. I am very exigent about the quality of my prints. With my own printer, I can endlessly edit colors until I am happy with a result. I can print as many color proofs as I want until everything is perfect. I don't have to spend time and money anymore going to the print shop after the new samples again and again and as a bonus feel bad being a pain in the neck in the eyes of print shop workers. Sometimes it had been causing so much stress to me because it was usual when after half a year you get new prints with absolutely different color shades that are not what I've got before even the printing file is the same. I don't like this kind of surprise. Such freedom motivates me to create more new products that I'm also very excited about. And the second reason. Although I like the quality of the print shop I've been working with, but it wasn't cheap. I will more likely spend this money on printing cartridges, plus having all benefits I have mentioned before. As I already mentioned, I like the quality of my prints from the print shop. I wanted to keep the quality and to make my prints look the same way. I really like the rich vibrant colors and deep velvet matte black on my prints. After thorough research, I came to the conclusion that Epson printers are better for deep matte black and it was the reason I chose an Epson P600 that also allows me to make prints up to A3 plus size. The paper I choose is also by Epson and it's a hand matte paper, 194 gram. Actually, it is the same paper I've been using in the print shop for my regular oil painting prints. It has a completely matte smooth texture that I absolutely love because it suits my painting style perfectly. There you can see a bit of behind the scene of upgrading photos for my shop. This is how the whole process looks like. I take tons of photos using my remote controller to get a perfect one photo of the product. Well, let's shift to the process. There were some unclear things for me, like which color profile to use for printing, which should be the best settings and which program to use, and all these questions scared me a lot. I try to find answers in videos of other artists, but no one is really speaking about it as if it's something obvious. I also didn't find any courses about reproducing paintings. Well, after some attempts I found the perfect match and now I print my paintings in RGB and, as I understand, it is the best color profile for inkjet printers. To make is more about offset printing. If you know more about it, you can correct me in the comments. I found it more convenient to use a vector program for printing than raster. But there is one nuance. 
Make sure you convert the picture to a bitmap before printing to avoid unexpected lines on the output print. I have spent a whole day trying to realize why there are lines appearing around the printed pictures. Also, you can escape such things as printing flaws. You should accept the fact that you won't be able to use some prints because of such small flaws that occasionally appear. And it will be just a waste of inks. By the way, I need to mention that the first step you should make to create painting prints is to digitalize your paintings or illustration. This is the most important step in print production. The print's quality directly depends on photo quality. There is nothing complicated about illustrations, you just scan them and slightly adjust color and add some contrast. It's more difficult with paintings because it's impossible to scan them and the only way is to make a high quality, crisp photo. So make sure your photos have nice focus and quality. There is another unreplaceable tool for print production – paper trimmer. I use this trimmer by Dale and there are some pros and cons about it, but the most important that it makes clear cut line and this is what is the most crucial for me. It doesn't tear paper and cut off even the thinnest strip of paper. Usually I print my pictures with a thin frame to make the cutting process easier. However, I have to add cutting marks on the sides of the paper by hand to align the paper along the cutting edge of the paper trimmer. Actually, it is a bit annoying and causes me a lot of back pain. I can't align the paper using the trimmer's aligning tools because they are actually don't precise enough and don't give you the promised 90 degrees. So the cons are that you have to do everything manually and it's not a good option for big volumes of work. But the pros, trimmer make a clear and sharp cut line. So for its money, it's a very decent paper trimmer. If I ever have a bigger volume of work, I will definitely switch to a more expensive trimmer that will do both of these aspects perfectly. But for the current moment, it works quite fine for me. Well, I guess it's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful for you in some way. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will try my best to help you. Check my shop and social medias down below in the description box. Subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. And thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye! By the way, these are the new plenty plants that we bought because there are no these beautiful trees behind our windows anymore. So unfortunately, all beautiful shots with trees in this video will be the last ones. But people cut off all branches and there left just naked trunks. And if you are still here, there will be a small summer video from Estonia. Hope you will enjoy!